Welcome to Melbourne Music Tonight, I'm Max Gettler. Tonight on the show we'll be showcasing the upbeat vibes of Cat Pirate, followed by the very talented Bag of Nails. Enjoy. Everyone I knew, but not now, honey. Now I 
welcome to Melbourne Music Tonight. I'm joined by Cat Pirate. So, hello there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. So, um, tell us, how would you uh, describe yourselves as a, uh, as a band? No, look at us, we're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> <I reckon. laughs> we all bring something different. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Like, you, you say yeah. folk. Yeah, you think we're a folk I think band? it's a mix of things. Yeah. It's folk, rock, pop. Um, storytelling, there's a lot of poetry in mm. there as well. Um, wide variety of influences, I think. Mm. Which, which artists have been the biggest influence on, uh, on you folks? Well, we, we talked about some other people like Leonard Cohen and Suzanne Vega, and mm. I should say, you know, they are a big influence on me because, you know, they write words which are really thought provoking mm. and, um, and moving, and I want to do that. Also, Bob Dylan's a huge influence, someone who writes songs about so many different sorts of things and, and um, you know, just, I often found him really, really inspiring creatively as a, as a yeah. Um, other than that, like Justin Sullivan of New Model Army, if you haven't listened to him, <laughs> listen to him, he's amazing, he's amazing. No one else does what he does. So, you know, I, I wanted to write songs that were soulful like Leonard Cohen and also songs which are uplifting and I think we do that, we do, we do both things. Sure. So which um, music artists have had influence, like have, in, have influenced on your, your, um, your playing, have, have there been any that have? Oh, quite Very a few. Very diverse, yeah. isn't it, for sure. everybody. Will was just mentioning Bob Dylan, mm. uh, the band are a group who've played with Bob Dylan a bit and um, they're a really big influence, and uh, but you know, because Will writes all the mu all the songs, it's kind of like you know trying to fit the music to the song in the best way yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah, for me, I think it's the first band I've played, or oh, not the first band I've played in, but I played a lot of um, jazz chords, you know, normally a lot of, and listened to a lot of jazz music, and uh, so you know, this is sort of just stripping it back a lot more and. You know, there's really strong melodies um, and and really strong songs. So it's really good to be able to just um, try and play more melodically and mm -hmm. and and you know not use too many of the the jazz notes. But it's nice too sometimes too to add a bit of colour. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And how long have you guys been playing for as a band? It's like a year and a half. I'm glad you answered that question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a time. Oh, sure. Sure. Half. sure. How, how did you guys um, meet each other? Through Will. Yeah. <laughs> He's the man behind so, I met there. Nina on the Gypsy Music um, rehearsal camp. Um, and I know Steve and Delphine through the Green Stereo Angel on somewhere, don't I? Well, so actually, I, a, I think I met you through that same... Through the same thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So there's this great um, the community there. orchestra doing kind of European Balkan and and um, klezmer type music in Northcote mm. and, and um, looks like at least three of us have been in that um, at various times. And, um, and then I had, I had this friend who was in that actually, um, Tim, who started his own country music band and asked me to play the guitar for him and I started playing guitar for him. And after a while I started thinking, well if Tim can do it, then why can't I? I, should, I want to write some songs. So it was only Tim's um, I don't know, Tim's example that mm. made me start believing that I could write songs. I mean, it's something I'd always wanted to do. I didn't, mm. just didn't start trying to do it until three years ago. Sure. I'm glad I did, but, so, yeah, and um, definitely was a good friend of Tim's. Yeah. She used to come to the Derry Angels gigs, gigs and, <laughs> and, and, and I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. She did our photo shoot for the Derry Angels. Yeah, yeah, album. I used to do all their graphic design and yeah. stuff. <laughs> and then, yeah, I was at a gig one day and I was quite drunk. I think it was with my dad was here. Anyway, Will came up to me afterwards and said, I wrote this punk song and I reckon <laughs> I'd like you to play guitar yeah. for it. And I went, okay. And then I think my guitar style wasn't really suiting Cat Pirate in the end. Like mm. a, just my style wasn't suiting the songs, but I kept hearing all these bass lines. I was like, that's right, I can play bass as well. And so then, yeah, I became a bass player. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. And, and, um, and what's been the most, um, memorable and or enjoyable experience you guys have had as a, as a band? 
Renaissance was them. pretty good. Yeah, yeah the there's Renaissance been heaps, Festival. But Renaissance oh, Festival yeah. that was, was really amazing. Mm. It was real buzzy <laughs> and cold. A lot of camping. Sure. Yeah. Um, Band camp. <laughs> yeah, band camp. <laughs> <laughs> to play music and yeah. it was quite social. Yeah. Indeed. Mm. And um, what advice do you have for up and coming musicians? Decide to always believe in yourself. Just decide that right from the beginning. Decide that you will never doubt that you're going to be able to do it. Mm. And show up to rehearsals. <laughs> yeah. <gym>. Yeah. <laughs> be respectful. Yeah. So in the Melbourne music scene, how do you uh, find your sound mixing in? Like, how does it mix in? Um, well, Nina plays accordion, which I guess is a slightly uh, unique instrument. And we're all great lovers of the accordion. Um, so we... Stephen plays accordion as well, <laughs> yeah. very well. Uh, everyone Indeed. appreciates the accordion in this band, so I'd say we're kind of um, almost accordion-centric mm. as a band. I'm not saying you're too loud, but I'm just... <laughs> I'm saying, you know, we kind of make our sound around the yeah. accordion. Yeah. Oh. We're bringing we're some kind of aware. gypsy folkiness into rock music, yeah. you know, that's what we're doing. And punk, like, you know, we'll and, have um, a punk song and the piano accordion makes it different from any other <laughs> band who's playing a punk song in Melbourne. <laughs> Not that I've ever listened to punk music before. But <laughs> you don't need to. Actually, no, I have. You have but that's what I makes have. it good. <laughs> what makes it good is that you're not trying to play punk on your piano accordion, you're playing piano accordion, what and fits? we're all playing punk. Mm. That's mm, what's cool that's about it. it, I reckon. What, what's the most uh, punk song you guys have covered? <laughs> covered? Yeah, or, or, or have played. Let's, it's let's the different. song that shall not be named. Why not? <laughs> can um, we say slot on the air? Can they? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's just assume yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Uber Slut. But for, for people under the age of 12, we call it Uber Goddess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's good. It's definitely our most punk song. Yeah. <laughs> indeed, indeed. You can find Cat Pirate on facebook.com forward slash Cat Pirate Band. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Max. Thank you, Thank you Max. Sometimes when our eyes meet Something happens naturally We couldn't do it on purpose And it's like electricity Something passes between us It only lasts for a heartbeat But it feels like we belong together Hang your stars up in my tree Light all the candles in your lanterns There's no one here but you and me Let me take you by the hand Oh, I know you understand That I like you And it's like you see into my soul Straight through all of my defences and I would let you ride inside Forget the things I want to hide I couldn't stop it if I tried So hang your stars up in my tree Light all the candles in your lanterns There's no one here but you and me Let me take you by the hand Oh, I know you understand That I like you I don't mean to presume I guess you're just being friendly And I suppose this happens every day To people like you But for me it's the first time So hang your stars up in my tree Light all the candles in your lanterns 
There's no one here but you and me. Let me take you by the hand. Oh, I know you understand that I like you. Welcome to Melbourne Music Tonight. I'm Max Gettler and I'm joined by Bag and Nails. So, tell us, um, how would you describe yourselves as a band? Blues rock. Blues yeah. rock, mm. definitely blues yeah. rock. Tight three yeah. piece blues High rock. Energy, blues rock. Yeah. yeah. All those handkerchief teams. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Blues rock. Tight. Yep. Nice little three piece. Mm. Full of energy. Handsome <laughs> chaps. Well. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you uh, get the name Bag of Nails? <laughs> <laughs> um, in uh, the 60s, there's a club in London called the Bag of Nails. Mm. Uh, still there. It is. Still yeah, there and still, still open. There. It's um, supposedly where Jimi Hendrix first played when he was taken over there by Chess Chandler. Uh, it came up in a lot of biographies I was reading uh, sure. as a kid, so I thought, why not mm. name the band that one day? So, yeah. How does um, the scene, the music scene in London, how does it compare to what we have here in Melbourne? Before I came to Australia, I was told Melbourne was the capital live music oh, wow. of Australia. But, Still is. Yeah. But there's a, mm. in certain ways, there's a lot of a lot of pubs and clubs that are closing down, or mm. because of people, you know, mm. numbers going to clubs. Or a lot of a lot of the venues now just want duos, mm. you know, in the corner type thing. It's the noise restrictions of Broadway. A lot of noise restriction problems. Yeah. Mm. Um, a few of the venues, and obviously now drink drive-ins, is, you know, really, mm. which it should be, should be taking on. Um, so there's a few venues that we we don't play anymore no. it? because they just weren't getting the people in, mm. and it wasn't us. It drove them off either. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, you know, I mean, pokies too, you know, when they introduced oh, pokies, yeah. that sort of yeah. just uh, almost mm. overnight, you know, yeah. killed the scene in a lot of ways. So yeah. it's, it's recovered, but it's still nowhere near, you know, as big as it was, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was expecting, you know, like the 70s Australian live music scene to be still going, and it's, it's different, isn't it? You know? Yeah. yeah. I think it's also. Not as raw <coughs> no. Music. And there are a lot more bands out there. There are mm -hmm. a lot fewer venues, so uh, you know I think that's something as well. Yeah. Um, and it's tough to you know work regularly. Oh. I think because there are so many more bands playing now, and they're all you know all competing for the same venues. Mm -hmm. So and that makes a bit of a difference too. Mm. Yeah. What would you say has been the biggest lesson you guys have uh, learned as a band thus far in your career? I reckon it's. Sticking at it, just with the three of us. Mm. And there's a lot of bands out there that um, go through members, like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we've what, <clears throat> eight years nearly, the three of us, and it, it shows. Mm. And a lot of people do comment on that, don't mm. they? Yeah. yeah. And just yeah, it's it's showing on stage, and we just you know exactly what we're going to do. Mm. Most of the time. And hopefully, it's getting better. Mm. <laughs> how, how did you guys um, meet as a as a band? That's a good story as well. It is. Um, I actually, the, when I started the band around 2004, 2005, uh, I had a, a different lineup, a couple of you know, drum and bass player, and um, we were playing a gig one night, and uh, one thing led to another, and you know, uh, I decided that that particular lineup wasn't the right one for the band moving forward, mm -hmm. and it just so happened John was finishing up in a um, Ozzy Osbourne tribute band, mm. War Pigs, at basically that yeah. same weekend. Mm. And uh, John and I knew each other. Yeah. And uh, I happened to reach out to him and say, oh, are you busy by chance? I could use a, a drummer and bass player. Mm. And he says, oh, well, um, actually, no, I'm not busy. And that would be great. Because so. we were actually at the same venue, weren't we? Some, well, I can't remember where it was. We were in the back bar playing. Yeah. And these guys, the original bag of nails, I suppose, mm. were in the front bar, and I was yeah. actually on 
or may have smoke or break or whatever you call it, mm -hmm. was actually watching them. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, that was yeah. it. Yeah, and, and then, uh, we got together and, and rehearsed that. It was with yep. um, another drummer at the time. Mm. And um, and we had, what, Coatsy for about 12 months? Mm. And yep. then he moved on. He, yeah, Coatsy moved on. <coughs> and um, John. I saw the ad in like, Mel Band. Yeah, so it like, was. Well, yeah, it was a Mel Band. As soon as I saw a bag and I was, I knew exactly what you were about. Yeah. Because uh, I've had you know, similar line, you know, all yep. the biographies and everything you hear, mm. the name Bag and Ales. Mm. And I just related it to like sort of 60s, yeah. early 70s. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And the rest is history, as they say. Yes. So, where can people find you guys on the net? You can find us on the interweb at wepwepwe.bagonails.com. <laughs> and Facebook? Facebook. Mm hmm. So Facebook yep. slash bag o bag o Nails. Yes. yes. Cool, yep. cool, cool. Yep. Awesome. All the gigs be on there and Yep. Fantastic. Cool. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very Thanks much for having us. us. Pleasure. Cheers. Good. In the bag, got my rifle, got my hat. Oh, baby, I'm back. I got the time, you got the place. I got the money, you got the face. I bring the whiskey, you are the lace. So give me a taste. You and me, babe, we've been through this shit before. Now, back in the saddle, on to the TV, got it. Even the school. You'll be my queen, now be your king. Well, I love it, just for the taking. You don't love it, won't be the thing. I'm in it to win. Before. Now, back in the saddle, on to the TV, gotta even the school. They're going in, we're going out. They got nothing to laugh about. You and me, we'll scream and shout. Look out. I got a six string in my back. I got the money in the bag. Got my rifle, got my hat. Oh, baby, I'm back. 